Welcome back to the lecture series on multivariate calculus integration. Now, in multivariate integration, so far we had discussed double integrals, and we know that double integrals are concerned with functions of two variables of the form z equal to fxy and deals with integrals of the type fxy dx dy or again double integral fxy dx dy over a region R on the xy plane. Today's lecture session, we will start understanding triple integrals. And triple integrals will be concerned with functions of three variables of the form w equal to f of x, y, z, and would deal with integrals of the type triple integral f of x, y, z, dx, dy, dz, over a region u, where u will be now a region in the three-dimensional space. So, as we start our understanding of triple integrals, firstly, we will define the triple integral over a simpler region that is a rectangular parallel pivot. And later on, we will generalize the definition for a general region U in the three-dimensional space. Now, this introduction of triple integrals will be very much similar to that of double integrals. And triple integrals would also be defined as a limit of a Riemann sum. So, as we start with the simplest case where the region of integration U is a rectangular box, and see that the dimensions of the rectangular box are AB cross CD cross PQ. So, for example, in this figure, we have this rectangular box as our region of integration U, where it extends from x equal to A to x equal to B in the y direction from y equal to C to y equal to D and from z equal to P to z equal to Q in the z direction. So, we now start with a partition of AB into small intervals by the set of points x0, x1 up to xm as will be given by this relation as A is x0 less than x1 less than x2 and it goes up to xm equal to B. Similarly, we will partition the segment CD along the y-axis by the points y0, y1, y2 to yn and the segment PQ along the z-axis by the points z0, z1 up to zn. So, under this partition, the Riemann sum of the function f of x, y, z of AB cross CD cross PQ will be defined in this way as summation f of ui vj wk delta xi delta yj delta zk where of course ui vj wk is some point in an elementary rectangular box xi minus 1 xi cross yj minus 1 yj cross zk minus 1 zk and the difference delta xi is nothing but the length of the rectangular box in the x direction. So given by xi minus xi minus 1. Similarly, delta yj is the length in the y direction yj minus yj minus 1. And delta zk is zk minus zk minus 1. We can now define the triple integral of the function fxyz in the parallel pivot. AB cross CD cross PQ as the limit of the Riemann sum such that the maximum values of this differences delta XI, delta YG and delta ZK approach zero. So the triple integral will be now given as follows that triple integral F of XYZ DX DY DZ over this rectangular parallel pivot AB cross CD cross PQ is limit such that maximum of delta xi tends to 0, maximum of delta yj tends to 0, and maximum of delta zk tends to 0. Summation of f of ui vj wk delta xi delta yj delta zk, where i goes from 1 to m, j goes from 1 to n, and k goes from 1 to n. So, with this, we have defined the triple integral of a function f, f of x, y, z over a rectangular parallel pivot. And let us now extend this definition 
for defining triple integral over a general region U. Now here also we follow the same line as we did for double integral. So what we do is that given the general region U, we choose a rectangular box of dimensions AB cross CD cross PQ containing the given region U. And then we will extend the given function f of x, y, z by introducing a new function g, x, y, z such that g, x, y, z equal to f of x, y, z if the point x, y, z belongs to the region u and it will be zero if the point is outside u. And with this definition of the function g, x, y, z, we now see that the triple integral of the function f of x, y, z over a region u may be given by nothing but the triple integral of the function g, x, y, z, dx, dy, dz over the rectangular parallel bit. This is simply because we have defined g, x, y, z in a manner that g, x, y, z is equal to f of x, y, z in u and g, x, y, z is zero outside u. So with this, we have defined the triple integral also for a general region. And now let us see what does this kind of triple integral can physically represent. And for this, let us observe that if the function f of x, y, z is 1, then the triple integral f of x, y, z dx, dy, dz over a region u reduces to the special triple integral dx, dy, dz over the region u. And we may easily observe that this triple integral now represents the volume of the region of integration u because dx, dy, dz, we know these are elementary lengths in x, y, z directions. So the product dx, dy, dz gives the volume of an elementary region. And now if we add up the elementary regions over the entire region u, it gives nothing but the volume of the entire region of integration u. So with this understanding, Next, what we need to do is we need to know how to evaluate triple integrals, right? Now, this will be taken up in the next lecture session. So, thank you and goodbye till then.